Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. The other day I had someone ask me, how do I maximize the chances of succeeding in my life? The world is in the midst of perhaps a once in our lifetime event with what everyone is going through tackling the pandemic that has affected every corner of the world. Stock markets have seen rallies that are contrarian to how economies are doing across the world. And then there is the swing of trades for popular tickers, sometimes for weeks to days to even a few hours, propagated by the crowds of millennials getting on the trading bandwagon. The basics of trading have gone for a toss. Amidst all this, you can't but wonder about the fickleness of life, but more importantly, how each of us operates. News flashes and moves on to the next event that is in the spotlight for the next few moments before it's eclipsed by what comes next. And isn't that how many of us operate as well? What's the flavor of the day or perhaps the hour? What's ticking up and grabbing eyeballs and interest? Where do you invest your time and energy to profit from before you move to the next? When we talk about innovation, what's the hottest technology and business plan today? How soon before it's pushed into darkness to focus on the next? Isn't that what opportunities have become? They are sent into oblivion even before they have the time to mature and be at their best. Who has the patience, right? Now let's zone in on your lifetime. You have one life to make the most of and can decide either to run after each flash hoping to catch it and make merry or take a step back, pause, think, plan and then act. But then you need to have the patience too to see it go through its ups and downs before it blossoms. In a lifetime, you may think you have unlimited opportunities, but that's not so. Everyone has a limited set of opportunities and at each step of the way, needs to think and make wise decisions to pursue or not. Instead of running after everything or saying yes to every opportunity you come across, you need to learn to say no in order to focus on what's best for you and what you can maximize on. As I say this, there's a famous Warren Buffet anecdote that comes to mind, which I read about recently. Apparently, Mr. Buffet loves to share a concept called 20-slot rule with MBA students he often teaches. He talks about improving your ultimate financial welfare by giving you a ticket with only 20 slots in it. And you have 20 punches representing all the investments you can make in a lifetime. No more and no less. As a result of knowing that you have a defined quantity of choices to make, you'd be forced to think very carefully as to the choices you want to make. And you do this to maximize your benefit from the choices you make. Of course, you now think through, read up, introspect on your passions and purpose, your skills and expertise, your likes and dislikes, and then based on your knowledge, skill set, and passion start making choices. It's not to say that every time you invest in an idea, you will come out tops. You have the opportunity to get 20 tries in. Not every one of them may be successful, but there's a probability and a really strong one that about 3, 5, or perhaps even 7 of your ideas will benefit you immensely. It might even be one, but that will be a clincher for you. The lesson here is that you don't benefit or get rich by trying one new idea each day. That is definitely a recipe for failure. We live in a world that begs our attention from innumerable directions. Attention is fleeting between ideas and objectives. Multitasking has become a norm where you can only share a part of your focus and productivity. You're never truly immersed. All this leads to busy work and at best mediocre results. You may think you're pursuing the next billion dollar idea, but in honesty, you're either just wasting your time or working on a project that will be half-baked before you jump on to the next. The chance that you will succeed at something improves exponentially when you stick with an idea, work at it through its highs and low points, 
Focus on it with all your being and do nothing else but just that to see it through. Your most productive years are perhaps about three to four decades when you can maximize your potential. It's best to enter this realm with a focused mind and clarity on what you want to pursue. Dedicate time and energy to it to the fullest to maximize your success. Of course, you can have more than one passion, but why not prioritize all that you want to achieve in life so that the success of one becomes the wind beneath the wings of another to allow it to rise to its potential. Wasted years is a big impediment when in the process of figuring yourself out and what you want to do. Best to do it in your early years before you embark on a career and then dedicate the rest of your years in pursuit of it. Sometimes you end up starting late, no problem. Remember, it's better late than never. I hope you liked that episode and are enjoying all the episodes in Plan B Success Podcast. I'd encourage you to go subscribe on your favorite platform, whether it's any listening platform or YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts. Make sure you subscribe so that you enjoy this content and extract from it what serves you best, what benefits you in your own life, personal, professional, business, whatever it might be. Plan B. Live is the website where you can go in order to find any episode that you would like to listen to. Three times a week, we release episodes, the first being an inspiring interview with someone who's done it, been there, done that, and can inspire you to go after what you want to achieve. Every Monday, that's the episode that gets released. And then, on Wednesdays and Fridays, we pick a topic and we talk about it in order to benefit you in your personal and professional life. At the same time, if you're someone who's interested in learning more about these concepts, if you're someone who's interested in podcasting as well, go check out planbsuccessschool.thinkific.com. That's where all the online courses are. You can learn and benefit from them there as well. There's a bunch of free courses. There's a bunch of paid courses. Start with the free ones. Get to learn what you aspire to learn. And if you want to delve deeper, then you can sign up for the other ones. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.